Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another setup in my trendsetter um, that I'm using for my student planner. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. So I am going ahead and pulling out the first two months. Um, those classes are done. I was very successful in those. And I'm pulling out my other two months that is that are in my extension pack and I'm going to be using those in um, my planner. So I was just deciding which divider I Wanted to use and I really like this polka dot and I may put a quote on there or maybe not and then I also grab this you can do it just because of the um, inspirational quote quote that's there so once I have that in place I went ahead and grabbed um, my labels for my planner so I'm going to quickly place down the months on the divider and I'm going to use my dates and holiday sticker book to date the month. Alright guys, so now I am pulling out the two colors that I'm using and I am in love with this coral sipper pen. If you guys have not picked these up yet, I will leave another link down below. Um, I picked them up from Amazon and I'm also going to use my favorite color which is purple because July is my birthday month. So I'm really, you're going to be seeing lots of purple this month. So anyway, we are all the way in to the planning time now. I am using an assignment label from my um, purple sticker book, I believe. It's the older student sticker book to write down when all of my major assignments are due in my statistics class because it's a pretty tough class, guys. So I want to make sure that I am 100% focused on it because it's a lot of work in a very short amount of time. And school's going to be starting up pretty soon, so I really need to make sure I am maintaining um, a high score. So my top three um, was doing a Twitter and I have a wiki assignment as well as well as my practice exercises for my statistics, statistics class. I can't talk today. So um, in one of my classes uh, it is technology for education. So we are looking at using Twitter and different types of technology and how they impact the classroom. So one of my courses, all of my work is pretty much due on a Monday and the other one, all of my work is due on a Friday. So I will probably keep with my Tuesday, Thursday school schedule where I will work on the class that is due on Fridays. I will work on that work on Tuesday and the class that is due that following Monday, I will work on that work Thursday. So um, it just requires me to do a little bit of front loading with the turning in my assignments so that I am ahead and nothing is missing. So as you can see right now, I'm just bubbling in when I have assignments due and I just wrote down on those habit trackers different labels. So I use practice, exercises, um, Twitter, so that's discussion posts, and um, quizzes and tests. So I'm just going to bubble those in for both classes. And once that's done, we're getting ready to move on to filling out monthly goals, the checklist, um, and the daily. So I removed my checklist and assignments so that I could work a little bit better 
and I have my DIY flip up sticker books. If you guys want to know how I did these, please make sure you go check out that video. I will leave it at the end of this one as well as down in the description box for you to go check out. So I'm in my um, purple sticker book, the original student sticker books, and I'm just grabbing two little books out of there and laying those down. Um, and I just use those to write down the title of my books for class and um, my reading assignments. At the top where there is a monthly goals, if you guys didn't see that, I pulled out a project sticker. Um, in most of my classes, I have one to two major projects that have to be completed. And so for this month, I have two actually because this these two classes actually started the end of June so um, they'll be done by the end of this one so I have tons of work to do already and so once again I'm just going through my list of things to do and I'm really focusing on everything that's due this month I have like one final thing that I'll be doing in August so you guys probably won't see that so August setup will be for my next two classes zoomed in so you can see a little bit better um when i'm looking at my assignments for college i really look at when professors give you a note saying make sure that you do this ahead of time make sure that you focus on this particular assignment because nine times out of ten it weighs a lot so i make sure that i look out for that and then i notate it so those are my two major projects for these two classes and when they're due. And I just wrote down the labels as well. And I remember last month I didn't coordinate those books. So I think I did a better job of coordinating the colors of the book to um, the colored pens that I am using. So then I just grabbed my three um, large stickers that I use for my goals for the month and of course I'm my goal is to earn all points in both of my classes which is why I'm using two different colors but writing the same thing um, but one of the classes is particularly harder than the other so I really want to work hard as well as working ahead my goal is to get ahead about two weeks um, just to give me a little bit of leeway because I will be working in my classroom and I have tons of work to do in there Okay guys, so now we're ready for um, the standard setup in this planner, which is I am placing down when assignments are due. Now the 28th um, was for June the 28th. Um, like I said, my courses started at the end of June. So I did have a few things that were due before July. So I have a June the 28th and a June 30th deadline as well as a, um, July the 2nd deadline and actually both of my courses have some work due on the 2nd so I ended up moving um, the number two over so that I can use those two checklists going across. So then I grabbed the little due stickers like I always have and just placed due on top of the numbers and I used both colors of pink of the coral and the purple so that really worked out. And so now I'm just going to quickly list out all of the assignments that I have coming up this week. using my trendsetter for student planning um, and I plan on doing a planner lineup really soon because I'm trying to make some final decisions um, whether or not I'm actually going to invest in a student planner. I really don't see the purpose though for me just because I only have two classes and it has a place for seven classes guys are enjoying the student in the trendsetter.
decorating and I am pulling these stickers from my student icons the new student sticker book um, as you can see I'm not a big Twitter fan I try to like Twitter guys but it's just not my thing so I'm just going to put a little bit of decoration and how I'm feeling so thanks so much for watching keep that first new thing you do give this video a thumbs up and plan a place in place life guys bye